Namaste everyone. Thank you very much first of all for joining me at this time in this tutorial. Uh, now here I would like to show you this beautiful CRM which I have developed using Django framework. Right. Uh, how it works let me just take you through it. So we for adding a product we can simply hit this product button and uh, it has redirected us to this page which I have developed using the Django forms. Now here I have to put the name of the product. Uh, so let's put uh, laptop okay laptop and what is the cost of the laptop so that's what I can mention here so let's say it costs its cost is rupees 75,000 and who's going to sell it so vendor is let's make it let's uh, write Lenovo for now over here and how much discount is the vendor giving on this laptop so 13 percent discount let us save the data so you can see the data has been saved successfully in the database and from there it has been pulled by django and it has it is now getting reflected over here right so that's the thing which i have uh, defined the code for and then if i have to suppose look for things related to computer i5 i can simply uh, you know select i5 and then if i will simply hit this submit button so you can see now the web page is showing me the data of computer i5 only the rest of the two entries has been uh, you know not deleted but they are hidden right now i have applied a filter so for this feature i have used django filters right if you don't know about django filters do take my classes definitely in the classes the topic will be covered and it will be you know explained to you in brief right and you will definitely enjoy the classes which you know students are taking from me right now and yep yeah. So let's come on the second page, which is orders page. Okay, sorry, I forgot to show you the uh, this edit mag magic. If you have to edit the details of anything here, so you can simply click here on this edit button, and it will redirect you to the uh, you know this update product page where you will get to see uh, <coughs> the details of that product you have selected now suppose you want to uh, you know change the vendor's name to Gaurav so yes we can do it very easily now it's Gaurav Jan which is getting reflected over here right so this is how you know you can make the changes you can edit the details over here similarly if you want to delete any of these items you can simply click here on this delete option and that item will be permanently deleted from the database okay let's come on the second page which is orders page so as you can see uh, currently only one order is getting reflected here which has been placed by Amitabh Dikshit right the order is uh, order status is completed and its uh, graph is also getting reflected over here let us enter another record here for this web page so for that we need to click here on orders and let us select Gaurav Kumar Jain as a customer product let's uh, use laptop and status let's make it refunded so i'm saving the changes so you can see now there are two records let's see the dashboard page so you can see here now there are two bars uh, getting reflected in this graph and there are it's uh, right now one part of this uh, graph is in pink and the other part is in blue right let's come on orders again and let us enter another order so let's use Amitabh Dikshit and cell phone and then let us choose a status so I would like to select completed this time okay now there are three so let's see the dashboard so this is what is getting reflected here on the dashboard right so all the information is uh, there on the dashboard and yes it's looking very beautiful coming back to the orders page right so this is how the orders uh, page works and then comes uh, the contacts page if you have to suppose add a contact you can simply click that contact button and here you can add a contact like this suppose uh, there is this uh, uh, you know ma'am called manju jan and let's just enter her number so i'm entering a random random number for now okay and then let's enter a random gmail id okay and for example address uh, let's take kavi nagar ghaziabad let me just save the changes so 
I've saved the changes and you can see now Manju Jain's data is getting reflected here on contacts page, right? And if I will come on orders now, it will show me Manju Jain in this drop down. So earlier it was showing us only Gaurav and Amitav and now Manju Jain's name is also coming here right so you know that's how i've coded this application the last one is tasks so whatever tasks uh, you know you have completed till now you can update those tasks here on this page you can simply click here on add and it will redirect okay sorry you have to first add the tasks name suppose uh, laptop or uh, yeah uh, laptop purchase Okay, let's say there uh, the, there is a task where uh, you know someone purchased a laptop from me or you purchased laptop from someone and here we can just change it to laptop okay uh, a laptop worth rupees and let's say you purchase a laptop worth rupees 80,000 right so you can simply add that task here to this tasks uh, menu okay so this is how the uh, you know CRM works and let me just sign out and show you the sign-in screen so this is the beautiful sign-in screen and if you have to suppose login into it so the password and login credentials you can easily create right and that's how uh, the user can log in and then log out from this application okay so I've used Django as I've told you for creating this amazingly beautiful application. If you want to learn to use Django, please contact me on the number which is getting reflected uh, you know, on your screens right now, just below that rectangle on which in which you are able to see my video. Right, definitely I will tell you whatever details you require, right? And after that, if you uh, find, if, you, if my things sounds you interesting, if you, find that yes this is a person who can teach you full-fledged web development and that too uh, you know at a very easy pace so you can just take my course right and definitely from each and every class you're going to take away lots and lots of things so this is it from my side in this lecture i will be sharing the link of this project in the description of this video so you guys can take it from there just give it a try and in case you come across any issues you can put me a message on my number right you have my number already so this is it from my side have a great day ahead bye bye take care everyone